So here we are with Athene, who really dislikes the milking stand. And I wanted to show you, I'm gonna, she really absolutely hates me touching her in that area. So I'm going to start, you can see, she is squatting. Uh, I'm going to start to train her to the milk stand. I'm going to show you her numbers and everything if she's ready to breed. But when she's ready to breed, she needs to be okay with me touching her udder. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to train her to that. And one of the things that I've noticed with first fresheners, at least in my experience, is that they tend to go towards where the wall <laughs> or where the wood is on this other side. So you don't see it. But you can see right there. If she would stand like a normal goat would, because it kind of makes into a little, not a V, but like a U. That will show you how wide she is. And I wanted to have a good picture of this because it really helps me see and compare them with other babies, not only right now, but in the future. I want you to look at the depth of body that she has. She is very, very deep, very much like Clara, but all I am seeing in this girl, and right now she's not standing properly, her head is down, so you can't see how level she is. Now, let's check the thorough distance, and it's back here, there are a couple of bones here, and the way that you can tell if they are ready or if they're wide enough is by touching these bones and see if there is any space like right now to reach on both sides it's i can barely reach well from the athene bottom. is wide enough so you can see in the bottom or in her back athene is very wide thorough to thorough but she's only 42 pounds. So my goal is in the next three to four weeks, I make sure that I put her on the stand, not only to train her that it's okay to be here, it's actually good because she'll get treats. Okay. Right now, she doesn't think so. She's pretty upset that she's here. Look, only for good girls. Look at your mom out there. She's like, excuse me. You get in there, Mama. You're good. It's good to be there. When they're trying to get out of there, I just push them from their butt like this. And so they move their heads. Because if I try to move their heads, uh, they get super upset and stubborn. So again, this whole idea is to keep checking until she's at the ideal weight. Could I breed her being... Yeah, I could totally do it, but I'm not comfortable doing it. So I'm not going to. I am going to wait and then we'll breed. Even if that means that she will be kidding uh, more at the end of March, beginning of April. She's not real happy with me right now. It's okay. You're okay. I let it go. I shouldn't have. Uh, you can see how much she's gonna find it. Okay, so she goes there and then goes here. Now with her, I have to be really careful when I'm trimming her hooves because her um, sole or like the back, it's really wide. And typically when I hit the white or the pink is when I stop trimming. You actually don't want to just cut the nail itself, but you want to cut the back too. So it's flat. So now a team never speak, never 
she never was in the milking stand because she's always been a super docile goat. As she's growing, she is getting some stubbornness. Mm, so I just need to make sure that I can do it in the stand and I can manage them by myself. So because of that, now that my daughter is not here to help me with them, I really need to make sure that I find systems that I can manage them by myself. I love when somebody else can help me and will ask for help when I need it. But if I don't have to, I don't have the help, I love the idea of having a system. Now, th <laughs> this leg is always the hardest because it's on this side. It's okay, sweet girl. It's okay. Look, I'll pet you belly. I'll pet you belly. So, uh, it's always harder and it's always the, the one that looks the worst. <laughs> Out of all of them, I need to be better at it, and the only way to be better at it is to keep doing it. Let's check her Pamacha score. Now, to check for Pamacha score, I, hopefully I can do it here and show you at the same time. I've had uh, some people call me that I, I've sold babies to that don't know how to check the Pamacha score. Uh, some people just pull the lower eyelid and they look inside and they think, whoa, that's it. No, that's not it. Basically, the idea is that you have to, with clean hands, you have to push on the top lid with your thumb. I'm going to push on her top lid with your thumb, with my thumb, and the eyelashes are going to touch my thumb. And then with the other hand, I'm going to pull down the lid. Now, there's going to protrude something. It's not like you're going to see the inside. Something's going to protrude. It's not in the inner part of the eye, but at the bottom. So hopefully, it will show here. So let me see if I can do this and show you at the same time. It's all right. It's all right. It's crummy. Nothing's going to happen. Okay? Nothing. I'm going to put my finger and her lashes are going to touch my thumb and then I'm going to look down. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. She does, she's doing great. She really doesn't need the warmer. She has the pinkest eyelids in the entire herd. I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to brush her for a little bit so I can help her with the stress um, and then I'm going to let her go. She's been screaming nonstop since I left. This is not the best brush. Honestly, a fine comb is the best. But this will do. You're okay, Ma. You're okay. You're okay. But I do, I'm not going to let her go as she is trying to get out because she'll think that if she does that, she'll win. So once she calms down, now you can see how long her teeth are there. Look. Ever. And see, she's not fighting me with the teeth anymore. She's not moving to the other side. She's feeling more comfortable. She's just trying to see if she can get away with it. And once, like right now she's behaving. Oh. If you can see her, but she's not pushing it. She's not trying to get out. She's looking to the front. She's not trying to eat hay. She's not doing anything. She's just being a good girl. So since she's been a good girl, I'm going to let her go. And hopefully she won't mess up the camera. There you go. Come on, the thing. Go. Bye. Come on, Clara. Clara. Come in. Now, if you're wondering if I if I'm happy with what Rocky has produced, right the second the 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 more mature dough, it's only seven months, which is the theme. And I love her. 
I love her body structure. I love her teeth length, although that will change, but it's a good indication at this point, according to my research, um, that, you know, will vary, but it still is a good indication. Uh, the folds that she has almost on the sides showing her dariness, it's a great thing. Annie's little girls, uh, Ava and Aria and both are developing, but they are just June, July, August, September. They're only three months old. There's not too much to judge based on their age. So we will see um, if the pairing with Annabelle and Rocky was amazing or if I'm going to have to readjust and put Annabelle with, which I'm leaning towards that, um, with Dom because Dom has amazing genetics and I think it's going to help improve what I don't like about Annabelle's structure, which is her medial suspensory ligament in the, probably not even the name of that, that, that's probably not the correct name, but it's basically that thing that is in the middle of the two teeth that makes them point down instead of point to the sides. That is a really um, not great trait that Annabelle has and I am hoping that Dom will improve it. Did the breeding work? Like did they improve? Are Rocky's daughter better than Annabelle? We will know soon. I mean let's give it a, another four months and we will be able to see their body structure. Right now they're in a, an awkward phase but if you were asking me today did Rocky do a good job as far as girls? This far, I am very happy with him, but there's only one doe that is mature enough to judge like that. So overall with Athene, I'm kind of disappointed. She's not there yet. Uh, she is almost, almost, it's almost never counts to me. Uh, so she still has four pounds to go. I, I'm gonna give her some extra feed, as I said before. I'm gonna train her to the stand and I am gonna to try to get her comfortable with the whole milking and you know being separated from her mom and everything because I think that the one reason she's very stressed every time I try to get her separate to separate from her mom Clara is that she just gets anxious about being separated from Clara and yeah, it's an awesome bond and it's a good thing that they're together but at the same time I want to make sure that Clara um, you know, that Athene feels comfortable enough with me because, you know, from now on with hormones after she gets bred and later on with the delivery and everything, I just want her to be 100% comfortable with me so I can be there for her when she has her babies. And we're just going to have to wait, you know. This is the, the part where you have to really put your dough in, um the number one position and as I, your, your priority. You are the one responsible for that breeding. She is not going out and trying to find a buck. She is not, you know, she's not there yet. Uh, she's going into heat and everything, but she is not ready to have, her body is not 100% ready to have babies. So yeah, it sucks because I really wanted to breed her now in the month of September and she's about to come into heat, but I'm gonna have to wait and see if next month she is to the weight that I feel better breeding her. Some people do it at 40 pounds. That's also perfectly fine. And I'll come back tomorrow. And of course, that's not gonna be tomorrow for you guys, but on the next video, I'm gonna share with you the twins. I'm gonna put them on the stand. It's gonna be the first time that the twins are gonna be on the stand because again, they're very uh, easy to trim their hooves without being on the stand. But this is the time that I have to train them to come into the stand, be comfortable with me, bringing them in one by one, eating their own thing, and you know, just kind of being separated and comfortable with me touching their udders and getting them ready for when they have their babies and then we have to milk them to make the process easier honestly for them less stressful and easier for me so 
gonna clean up this mess my camera is dying but thank you so much for joining us today to check Athene and see if she is ready for reading and I'll see you guys next time